you know, uh, as as China, you know, continues to rise, and perhaps India and a few other sort of so-called emerging markets, I think we we're, we're seeing a redefinition of the global geopolitical picture. I think you know we will evolve more from a you know single superpower to perhaps multiple power, maybe not superpower, but sort of multiple power picture, where everybody would will seek to work with everyone else in a more closer manner, and. Uh, I, I believe that notwithstanding a lot of uh, discussion about you know protectionism and uh, people trying to protect this and that and so on, I, I, I believe the world will move towards uh, perhaps a more globalized environment where, where countries uh, will have to work closer together on, uh, on, on a similar agenda. I think the U.S. will continue to play a major lead leadership role in many of these major geopolitical issues. I would expect countries like China, India, Russia, and of course, many of the Western European powers will also play an important role. I think a large you know, uh, link to all this is you know, the growth of uh, the global multinational companies, that these companies will work across national borders. They will do businesses uh, you know, in various countries. And you know, in some cases, they will have, have to apply the global processes and systems. But in many cases, they also need to be very local. You know, in places like the U.S., in China, Japan, and India, you have to be very local. So that ability to combine the globalness of companies as well as to become very local is going to be a real challenge of the, the leading multinational companies. But I am very optimistic that you know, we're going to have uh, quite a number of these companies who can be very successful, can sort of develop the right model to take advantage of the globalization that we'll be seeing over time.